Riding scooter in Bangkok and especially getting out to the countryside is not the most pleasant thing to do. Get ready to a lot of traffic jams and to drive along with the big trucks. Ancient Siam is a museum park located in the neighboring province Samut Prakan and occupies over 200 acres in the shape of Thailand. The entrance fee to the park is not cheap, 700 baht, but you will get a small car with a driver who takes you around for about one hour tour. Ancient Siam was constructed by Lek Viriyapan, a Sanjuk Thai businessman, millionaire and patron of culture, responsible for the construction of Erwan Museum and Sanctuary of Truth as well, which you could see in my previous videos. Ancient Siam is dubbed as the world's largest outdoor museum. It features 116 structures of Thailand's famous monuments and architectural attractions. The crowns of ancient Siam correspond roughly to the shape of the kingdom, with the monuments lying at the correct places geographically. Some of the buildings are life-size replicas of existing or former sites, while others are scaled down. Still others are creative designs and not replicas of any historical structure. The replicas were constructed with the assistance of experts from the National Museum to ensure historical accuracy. It was reported that 80 million baht has been spent in the building of ancient city. The ancient city brings the splendor of Prasaton dynasty with the opening of the Great Hall of Vajradhamma. The building enshrines the 28 Buddha statues from Buddha's previous incarnations, along with 10 Buddha statues that were believed to be his future forms. There is also a recreation of the venerable pagoda complex to represent 12 Buddhist zodiac years. Each replica is filled with the soil from the original site and visitors can pay homage with the flowers. St. Pet Prasad's throne hall served as the reception hall for Queen Elizabeth II. Erected during the reign of King Pra Baram Trailokanat, it served as a ceremonial site for the coronation of Thai kings and other important events, as well as audience hall for foreign ambassadors and envoys during the reign of King Narai the Great. Its walls are covered with beautiful murals of Hindu god Narayana and aligned with 28 Buddha statues and the private collection of old porcelain, silver and gold yellowware. The Sid Mahaprasad Palace was built as an audience hall for royal ceremonies by King Rama I in 1806 and was reconstructed by King Rama III, initially changing the structure of the building. The replica in ancient city recreated the original design of the palace by research of the old photos and documents. Opposite the octagonal shaped Prakyao Pavilion is surrounded by a huge pond and showcases a perfect mixture of Thai and Chinese architecture. Within a short walk from the pavilion, there is imitation of Mondop of the Buddha's footprint in Saraburi, 
stands on a hilltop, the most beautiful Ayutthaya-style architecture. The story of this temple dates back from the early 17th century, when a local hunter discovered the footprint following a wounded deer emerged from some bushes, miraculously healed. Pushing aside the undergrowth, the hunter found a foot-shaped impression filled with water almost two meters long in a stone slab. He had drank some of the water, which immediately cured him from skin disease. The temple was destroyed in 1765 during the Bemis-Semis War that meant the end of the Ayutthaya Kingdom two years later. The park itself is divided into four sections – northern, northeastern, central and southern regions – in the same way as Thailand divided. Here we can see the fine example of traditional Thai house of the central area. The Garden of Sacred Stupa is designed by a large group of Chedi in various architectural styles and built in different times from past to present. The important Chedi is constructed to house the relic of the Lord Buddha and is rooted from Hinayana Buddhism beliefs that remained with Thai communities for generations. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe and hit notification bell button to be updated of the new releases.